Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome to Curious Expedition. Curious Expedition is a game that uh, someone at my office uh, told me about that like showed me the trailer and said, you know, thought it looked cool and I agreed. And uh, it it does look cool. The trailer looked cool. I'm excited to play it. That's about all I know about it. Uh, so shout out to Laura from work for uh, showing me the trailer to Curious Expedition. I'm gonna hit new game and just get right into it. Um, we get to choose our character, and I don't know who any of these characters are. I could just do random. If I click on one, will it tell me? Ah, so that's Charles Darwin. Uh, with Darwin, you get you get sanity each time a butterfly is co collected. You also start with a Scottish soldier, Persian translator, and a donkey, as well as whiskey, torches, a shotgun, and a machete. Uh, Marie Curie. Uh, conducted, yeah, we know who she was. Polymath. Choose from five perks as opposed to three. Very cool. You get a missionary, hunting dog, and a donkey. Chocolate. Another torch first aid. Extra bullets and climbing gear. Cool. You know, the only thing I remember in the trailer was that you could be Ada Lovelace, who I would definitely want to be, um, but it doesn't look, it looks like I have to unlock her. So, we'll do that. Uh, we got, uh, Richard Burton. Um... Cool, and you start with a British soldier and a native scout. Uh, I don't actually know who Johan Huizinga is. Um, Persian translator, donkey artist. How about down here? Roald Amundsen. Cool. I mean, it tells you it tells you who they are, but still, that's not that telling. An anthropologist, uh, native animal handler, husky, husky. Oh, so this must have been an, yeah, an Arctic explorer. That's cool. And Huang Feihong, Chinese folk hero. Uh, martial, uh, master of the martial art Hung Ga. Cook, water buffalo. These are all really cool. I am kind of tempted to choose the, like, uh, animal handling Arctic explorer. I'm kind of tempted to do that. I kind of like that. Roald Amundsen, we're going with you. I didn't know who you were before, but... Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor our most famous member? Who is that? Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you, you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals... Uh, oh, Ida Lovelace is a rival. Um, have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous. So we have Mary Kingsley, Harriet Tubman, Isabella Bird. Now go explore. Um, good for beginning players and people that enjoy narration. Standard difficulty, pretty tough but manageable, or certain death. I mean, we are a beginning player, but I don't... I think we gotta go standard difficulty. Just because of who I am. Um, the horrible jungle. Wait, so where are we? Is this us? Is this us? Oh, this is us, right here. So we're in England. Do we all start in England? Kingsley is exploring Valley of the Jungle. Uh, Lovelace is exploring... The drylands in Australia? Oh, two different drylands. Unforgiving and Tiki Taka is where Bird is. Uh, and where'd Harry Tubman? Oh, Harry Tubman is in the treacherous drylands. So we can either go to the horrible jungle or the Wahomey drylands. Now we're an Arctic explorer. Um, I think the horrible jungle is probably further north. The golden pyramid can be found there. And what are these? I don't know what these things are. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll just go over... Well, you know what? Harriet Tubman's over there. Drylands. No one else is exploring South America. Let's go there. Start. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I made my way to the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I imagined what my visage would look like on the society statue. A rich foreigner named Sir Dair Ilimaid arrived at the docks. He explained that he originated from the area where we were heading to before coming to England with the crew. He had meanwhile developed a life here and requested that I find his wife in his former village and escort her to London. Wealthy foreigner. I can... Nothing comes up when I scroll over wife, but... Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I accept. We will escort the villager to London. I accept his request to find and return his wife. He nodded, thankfully, and wishes luck. So we have... I don't know, this is how many places we've explored. This is our fame, maybe, and this is our money. And yeah, we have tickets used at polar stations. 
Yeah, if we're not on the snow place, I don't think we have much of an advantage. Although we do have a lot of animal stuff, right? So all we need to do is like focus. Maybe we should have gone to the jungle because of that. We do have a shotgun and climbing gear. Yeah, and that wouldn't have helped us in the jungle. Although that probably doesn't help us in either place. Chocolate's good for everywhere. All right, continue. <clears throat> Expedition one. All right. Uh, okay. Um, oh, wow. I shouldn't have clicked. What's going on? What's happening? What is this? Um, what? What is happening? Is time passing? Can I? Oh, okay. I had, I, had, I had to click on the journal. I had heard enough sea shanties to fashion my own opera several times over. I was relieved when we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. The foreign landscape beckoned us to ex beaconed us to explore. Uh, access ship storage. Where are we? I'm a little confused at what that what happened on that map. Um, let's refill our water. Yep, great, great. Yes, we didn't have any. A well prepared trek was absolutely essential. I uh, had to get moving to prevent my rivals attaining a noticeable head start. I don't think we need anything in the ship storage, right? Let's begin. Thankfully, the affluent foreigner had indicated the location of his former village on the map. I was curious to see if we would find his beloved there. Okay, so we are in England, I guess. Ah, okay. So this is this isn't timed or anything. Okay, this is. I guess this is how many turns we have. Oh, sanity. Very Lovecraftian. Standing. How, oh, our standing. Uh, our pers you know how the natives perceive us. And right now it's one. So we're trying to get to here, the native village. And something is here. Although we have, uh, we have mountain climbing gear, right? We have climbing gear. Um, well, I, I don't know if we can cross the mountains. Let's go here first. Oh, I see. Let's go here. You know what? No, let's... Let's just go straight there. Right? Because I think you lose less sanity that way. Maybe. Because this 30 sanity there. 31, 32. This is just 7 there. Although maybe that's just for embark disembarking gives you that many. Yeah. Maybe we only go part way. Let's try that. Let's try it. Travel. Ooh, look at us with our dogs. Oh, there's something here. Interesting. Okay. Um, what is this? Superstitious. Oh, our animal handler is superstitious. Suffers from an irrational fear of what is unknown. And we are... Um, oh, that's our quest. Uh, we reduced movement cost in deep snow. We also have reduced movement in elevated terrain, though, because of our gear. Capacity, toughness. Oh, and we have dice. The more dice you have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the stronger you are. Um, okay, cool. And we have Hector, uh, the husky, and Meryl, the husky. A breeding pair of huskies. Very cool. Okay. Um, I'm curious as to what this is. It looks like a thing, right? Should we go there or should we go straight for the native village? Oof. I'm kind of, kind of want to. Yeah, every time we stop, it looks like we do, it does take more terror or insanity, whatever. Uh, let's go. Let's do it. Travel. That's it? Because it's, we, every time we do a new travel, it costs five points. Can we, we can't do anything here? What is this? Wait. Abort. Show game settings. That's the day. All right. Let's just go to the native village. That was disappointing. Because we are wasting sanity. And time. Enter village. There we go. We carefully approach. The people here seem to have formed a religious unity. <clears throat> As I observed the tribe, I noticed one woman was somewhat out of place. She was the wife I had been tasked to escort back to London. Oh, so we are we are in South America, and this woman is a native England, uh, a native English, and uh, a natively English, a native a native English woman, and we need to escort her. I see. Without further ado, she happily joined our track and began to show us around the village. Oh, good. We are very popular in the re. Oh, we got a native shaman. 
Uh, we uh, excellent. We could rest. We could recruit. What do these things do and trade? Uh, let's rest here first. Let's trade. What do we have to trade? Um, tickets. Obviously, we're not near any polling stations. Ooh, jewels. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, can be traded in for fame. Native trinkets. What are these worth? Nothing. Do we have anything worth anything? Snowshoes. Chocolate's worth things. Um, I kind of want... I want some jewels. Um, what can I give you? Water? No. I guess I could give you some snowshoes. Yeah, or I could give you some chocolate. And then you could also give me some native trinkets. Oh, interesting. The value for the jewels is at a discount. So what else is at a discount? Anything will be removed after expedition. Oh, we have water. Mini puppets. That's interesting. Spear. Now, we already have a shotgun. Let's take a puppet and a spear. You know what? Maybe we're fine like this. Is there anything else? What What are we up to? Is there anything cheap that we can grab from you? Uh, value two. Perfect. We'll get some rope. How do we not have rope? Um, oh, boy. You know what? Maybe we will get some more stuff. Like rope. Or a native trinket. We'll improve the loyalty of a person. Could be important. Could be important. But we don't have a lot to sell. Maybe we'll get more stuff later. I like that this is at a discount. It means we can theoretically sell it more. Sell it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. All right. I think we're good. We'll keep our chocolate. Deal. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. I guess I clicked recruit. I think I can actually turn off the fade thing. Um, a new recruit. Okay. So now we get to choose. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Still recovering from this cough. Looking at loyalty. Oh, I can get a water buffalo. I think we have enough. Ooh, I don't know. We do have an animal trainer. So maybe more animals is the way to go. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that might be the way. Now, shaman might be nice. Because um, they could do, like, magic stuff, maybe. But we do animal handling. So I feel like the water buffalo. Mr. Carter, the water buffalo. Okay, uh, let's rest in the village. A ceremony. A bowl of boiled food they offer. Um, the native shaman, uh, Kupa Dinej, felt a bit uneasy and informed us that it was possible the meat was human flesh. Wait, are you part of our group? I don't think you're part of our group. I'll eat it. I want to ingratiate myself. I lost some sanity there, but we did gain standing. We, our sanity is not great. All right, let's sleep. My expressive yawning concerned them. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Oh, we gained sanity. And what did that say about our standing? I think we lost standing there. They didn't like our yawning. Okay, I guess it's time to leave. We did. We are at a uh, net standing. Oh, wait, can we talk to individual people? I didn't realize that like all these were actual people in the game. I can't click on anyone. Like, I can see their stats, but that's it. Uh, in a heartbreaking ceremony, uh, Kupadine said farewell to her tribe. Oh, that's, um, that's the wife, I guess. As we left, she mentioned that she would like to visit a holy shrine in the vicinity to receive a blessing. She marked the location on our map. Okay, cool. Oh, over here? Okay. I think we're fine on water. So let's just... Oh, I can't go straight there. Um, I guess we'll go over this way. Yeah, let's see if we can avoid the jungle. Um, let's go. Let's travel. We have quite the posse here now. So she, we do have a shaman who is the wife. Does not use up character slots. Great. 
Yeah, we might be maxed on character slots, and they're all taken by animals, which hopefully is fine because you're an animal handler. Animal capacity 2, increase inventory size for all pack animals does not stack. Oh, so do animals not count? Superstitious, animal capacity 1. Oh. So your animal capacity is 3, then? Is that... Oh, I could promote you. Loyalty boost chance. Sure, I'm glad I didn't read any instructions before I started playing. Okay, let's just go go here. What is this? An inactive volcano? I can't actually go there. All right, we're going to go to your shrine. Um, I could maybe use some of the stuff for sanity, like eat the chocolate. Well, uh, we're, we're okay. Let's examine the shrine. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed. <coughs> oh man, stood bathed in light before us. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. The portal that led inside emitted an eerie chill. We found some sticks planted firm in the ground. Someone put ghastly human heads. Can I click on it? On their sharp end, their mouths had been sewn shut as if to silence them. I think this. Um, yeah, I mean, that's weird thing is she's the wife. So maybe this um, Englishman married a native, and now he wants her to come back to England, I guess. Kind of like um, Pocahontas-ish? Uh, all right, we'll enter the shrine. This is a little creepy, though. Oh, look at our water buffalo. I guess he can carry a lot of stuff. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. An altar, illuminated with breathtaking ambiance, stood atop a plinth. All right. Let's, uh, there we are. Let's investigate. I kind of want to get in some combat, right? Oh. Oh, we could take something. Tome Pages Spring Creation. A page that was written from the ancient tome. It is written in unearthly alien letters, but for some reason you know you can read it. Springs Creation. So it, in theory, that would give us infinite water, which could be super useful. This one, though, gives us... A lot of value and fame and funds. I think we have to take it for the fame. I think we take both things. This was not a day for hesitation. The treasure was mine. First, I did not notice anything being different. There was no other way to describe this. I've experienced the rapture. I hoped I didn't just wipe out humanity. Uh, so we may have angered our... Uh, the person we're escorting, but... Okay. Not sure what just happened there. I think we might need to eat a little chocolate. Because our sanity is low. Thank you. Is this our fame? Oh, exploration point, so we can level up. Uh, so, Isabella Bird is 77 days away from arriving. You're 96 days. Okay. I don't know what's up with this compass here. Compass progress. Oh. Okay. Oh, that we're looking for. We're looking for a comp. We're looking for a particular temple and it's in this direction. Okay. All right, let's stop over here in these dry lands. There seems to be something there. Uh, how's our water? Like, do we? Do I need to say drink? No, I don't. Oh, 19. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe we should... Can I move the map? Oh, I can. Okay, right-click. Uh, that doesn't really help me, though. We really need to go this way. That's a lot of sanity. Oh, well. Okay. New region discovered. What is that? Hmm, now it wants us to go northwest. Um, oh, so that would let me... I can throw stuff away. Whoops. No, I didn't. Healing Springs. Uh, I didn't really mean to use that in that way. I just... I kind of wanted to see if maybe options would pop up if I clicked on it. That didn't happen. Can we... We can't... It doesn't look like there's an easy way to get over there. We might have to go around the north. So I think we need more sanity. We might need to sleep or something? Where are we right here? Uh, wait. Abort. I want to camp. Is there a camping option? 
Shallow River. Insanity risk. I, I mean, this is a question mark. I want to get there. I think maybe we want to go there. Uh, let's eat some chocolate, I guess. Oof. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, now let's explore it. A scale of the falls <coughs> took my breath away. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water was fresh and cool. Well, we will refill our water. Oh, okay. we have a ton of water now. Well, let's rest and hopefully get some bipolar. Uh, we want some uh, sanity back. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here. One cut, one could cut the tension with a butter knife as we rested by the fireplace. Uh, Daimap, our animal handler, screamed at the moon for being too big. That was particularly erratic. I should keep an eye on him. So maybe he didn't become bipolar. He, she? Yeah, he. Um, maybe we're just discovering that he's bipolar. Okay. All right, we did get... Oh. Wow, we're getting a lot of sanity back here. We're resting a lot. After days of rest, we still enjoyed the melodic tone of the falling water. The falls were glorious. All right, let's leave. Uh, we still have to go all the way around here. Uh, gorilla? With an aggro chance. Um, we definitely... Oh, it takes so much sanity. All right, we can get over here. Travel. Uh, the gorilla might attack us. But what are you going to do? I do have a um, a shotgun, but we're going to enter the hut. We're not going to bother with the gorilla. We entered an odd-looking hut. The interior was particularly musty, with all manner of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman appeared, uh, approached us with a wild-eyed stare as he chewed on some leaves. Hiruwa. Um, yeah, let's ask for cleansing. Sure. Well, first let's trade. What do you have? Ooh, tone page of water drain. Oh, so I, these things are not crazy rare. I thought they were rarer than. None of these things give me um, fame. Horn flute distracts wildlife. It's pretty cheap. Um, totem stick. Cocoa leaves. Huh. Oh, these don't sell for much. You don't, maybe you don't value, yeah, you, I think you don't value some of this stuff. <coughs> I, I mean, I could sell this stuff, but I, I want to trade it in for fame, right? Maybe I don't need some of this stuff. Ooh, that's very valuable. I could sell you some climbing gear. I mean, we're not using all of it. What does this do? Bad luck upon our rivals. Oh, if our rival is, like, getting really ahead of us, we could use one of those. That could be really useful. Boy, that could be useful. Let's get one. And then also... Um, wisdom. Hill creation. Now, let's just get a couple of these. Deal. Deal. Oh, okay. And now let's ask for cleansing. Remuneration up front. Uh, he promised that after his ritual, the patient would be cured of all sorts of mental demons. Oh, okay. Uh, that's... You want a lot. Well, we have... No. We could sell you our climbing gear. Oof, these barely sell for anything. And these have no value. We could sell you the jewels, and that would do it. Selling you the jewels would cure bipolar. But you know what? Let's just keep the bipolar. Oh, whoops, what did I do? I didn't mean that. Cancel. All right, let's leave. Um, do we attack the gorilla? I, I'd rather not. Uh, all right, we still need a lot of sanity. Let's eat these leaves. Oh. Oh, great. Uh, Kupadinej is now paranoid. Um, okay, let's try that again. All right. 
And we still, let's eat some chocolate now. Man, sanity is a big problem. All right, let's go to the healing springs. And hope that heals our sanity. All right, we seem to have successfully avoided that gorilla. Explore the springs. We reached the natural hot spring, uh, hot water springs. The water had a strong coloring, although I heard of the healing properties of such. Rest overnight. Ooh, look at all this. Maybe it'll heal the paranoia and the bipolarism. Decreased loyalty. Minus eight sanity. Koopa Dinej started behaving peculiarly. She recoiled and started screaming like a madman, accusing the others of poisoning the rations. Soon after, I was able to calm her down, but the mood was spoiled and everyone was on the edge. Man. All right, at least we're getting some sanity back, but man, you are superstitious. This is bad. Our wounds are healed, but who cares? Oh, I can level you up. I guess let's do it. Cool. We did it. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Where are we going to go now? Over there. Um, you're saying north. So, oh, I didn't realize I could zoom out like that. Um, yeah, let's go there then. Ooh, this could be it. We could get lucky here. We might need to use the voodoo thing on Isabella, but we'll see. The Golden Pyramid. I think this is it, right? We'd overcome all events to achieve success. Enter. After weeks of traveling, great joy overcame me. I knew the name Roald Amundsen would be remembered forever. Don't look back. Oh, we did it. Awesome. <clears throat> New world bonus. I don't know what that means. Because it's over the ocean? Speed bonus because we were first. Wow, we did very well for my first game where I didn't know what I was doing. And I assume we also got fame for the items. We can see map. Okay. Cool. We had 11 legs of our journey. Very nice. Exquisite. Triumph. Oh, beautiful. Oh, choose a perk. Oh, <laughs> we brought back a buffalo. Good reputation. Start each expedition with a standing bonus. That could be very useful. Reduce the base sanity cost for traveling. Oh, that could be exceptionally useful. Uh, reduced move cost when crossing. I, I kind of like the sanity. Let's get impetus. Oh, everyone's so glad I got impetus. Okay. Okay. So Ada finished after we did. Oh, nice. Look at us. And then Ada. And then Isabella. Who's this? Oh, Mary Kingsley and Harry Tubman did not do so well. Gift? Museum. Gift, keep, sell. Gift what? What are we talking about here? Keep? Oh, the jewels. Um, The jewels. Do we... If we... We can sell them for funds? As opposed to these, funds 40. Yeah, I think the jewels we sell, but we keep the golden beauty for the fame. Because the jewels can give us a lot of money. Let's sell the jewels. Yeah, and we're going to... Ooh, what's the difference between gift and keep? Oh, gift would be to the gift to the museum for fame. I think we do that. Because you, you you're worth tons of fame. Excellent. Look at us. And we have a bunch of funds for next time now because of the jewels. Good, good. Jewels were a good purchase. Continue. Okay. So now we get to do another expedition, but I think we're gonna, that'll have to be another episode. Um, so it, it looks like there's six ex expeditions in total. We now have 60 funds, um, and I don't really know how that works. Oh, finally we can go to the Arctic. Well, we're definitely going to do that next time, assuming it shows up again. We still have some of our Arctic gear, although we did sell a bunch of it. Uh, but I think we just get bonuses in general for being who we are for the Arctic. So we're going to save an exit, but um, this was really fun. This is a cool game, and we're getting used to it. Um, so I think we're going to make this a full, like, let's play, and hopefully do six expeditions. We'll see. 
Um, so look forward to that next time. Uh, remember to share this series, leave likes, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I don't forget to leave comments, uh, you know, on both on YouTube and Twitter. Join my Discord channel. Uh, I really enjoy playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.